In this video, guys, we're gonna look at you need a degree in maths and physics to use technical analysis. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, I'm gonna get right to this one. It's gonna keep this brief, I'm gonna keep you short. I want to address this. I read this post, this article, where somebody quite eloquently was putting a lot of information out there and quite, you know, quite a decent information, but something he put in there was, hey, you need a degree in maths or physics, you need a decent degree in maths or physics to use technical analysis profitably. I just went, oh, and spat my coffee right out all over my keyboard. I didn't really, but you get the point. I was like, what is this guy on about? He thinks you need a degree in maths and physics to use technical analysis. What? Let's just, let's just have a look at this and let's just defend this for a second. I do not think you need a degree in maths or physics to use technical analysis profitably. The point of technical analysis is you're looking to identify supply, demand, imbalances, and future direction. This flag, as you know, if you've watched the channel, guys, if you're a subscriber, is one of my favorite patterns. It's been one of my profitable patterns for years, years gone by. It's one of my profitable patterns now, and I assume it will be one of my most profitable patterns in years to come. I love this setup. It's the most simple thing in the world. It's still technical analysis because we've got a flag, we've got a pole, and we buy a break out of here, or some of you know I buy a break here. I'm gonna go into the details, go and check out some other videos where I talk about how to trade these flags. The point is, have I got a degree in maths or physics? No, I don't. I've got an engineering degree, but it's irrelevant. I don't use it to look at technical analysis. Anybody can look at that and say, hey, you know what? That's gonna break there. This is a high flag. The rules are this. Why is it doing this? It's doing this because we've got a lot of demand. Not much supply is allowing it to push over. That's what I'm inferring from this pattern. I'm inferring that we've pushed up all the way on this pole, and however we frame it, or whatever it's called, doesn't matter. But we're seeing it happen in the first 15 minutes of the open. We're seeing all this kind of stuff. That doesn't need a degree to decipher that. And what also doesn't need a degree is the fact that this could be wrong, but what we need to do is cap our risk somewhere. That's the key to the whole game. It's not being clever and getting things right every time. And by the way, the market doesn't operate on a logical scale. The market operates on an emotional scale. The market operates where money is flowing. Money flows from emotion. Money flows where people think it's gonna make the money or out from where they think they're gonna lose money. It doesn't flow from the maths or physics of the market, okay? Any technical analysis pattern. Now, the point of this is, hey, going back to the initial point, is the key is all about how I can find a pattern that is giving me limited risk with decent upside potential and a decent probability of working. That is it. You know, that could be some squiggly, okay, no, the price doesn't do that, but you get the point. It could be any random pattern, but as long as I have the risk quantifier and a decent reward, and I know that over time that is gonna work out because it looks good and supply demand infers that, then I'll take that all day, every day. Do I need a maths or a physics degree to understand that or even could maths and physics decipher that it couldn't even just it can't it doesn't even it doesn't, doesn't even relate guys that's irrelevant we're just plotting price 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 a simple graph from school level maths from whatever level of school you are when you're plotting a learn how to plot a graph and then we're just drawing some lines on it and we're inferring supply demand imbalance from that we're quantifying our risk from that we do not need to go to degree level for that now, do you get things like stochastics? Do you get things like RSI? Do you get things like Bollinger Bands that have formulas to them, complicated or not? Yes, we do. We have formulas done, but do I sit there and do I calculate each formula and do the differential equations on stuff to give me a formula and plot every single dot on my oscillator? No, I don't. Why would I want to do that anyway? Computer does it for me. The point is, again, I'm inferring something from my squiggly line. Let's say we're using a stochastic. I'm inferring that's overbought. What does that mean? The important thing is not the stuff that goes into calculating the actual value and printing it on the screen and the code that goes in behind all that. I couldn't care less about that. The important thing is how am I using that information to make money? How am I matching that up to price or not? How am I ignoring it under certain conditions? How am I using it under certain conditions to make a profitable trade? I might say, okay, there's my pullback, there's my flag. Uh, we're pushing down here, we're in the first oversold condition. If you watch the channel, you're gonna know this is a very popular one for me as well. 
push back up yeah there was my sweet spot there because we first oversold after our driver got a flag as well blah 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 there's my risk i don't give a, a, a anything i don't care about you know the mass or physics that go into it you do not need a degree in mass or physics you just need to know how you're going to use the information you get and actually less is more less information is more being less overthinking it the guys who are doing the best i know in trading are the guys who aren't overthinking it they're going to put their hands up themselves and say hey you know what? i'm not the most intelligent guy in the world i couldn't do a mass or physics degree but who cares you know they are looking at it purely from their own perspective they got rid of all the noise they're just looking at what they want to look at they've become experts in it even the guys in the pit the guys in the pit were making money they weren't even looking at that they were basically thinking of charts in their head or they were plotting them out on paper when they got home and these were guys who had come from you know kind of literally buying and selling on the street market store type guys who had gone into the pit so they weren't at a mass or physics degree level and i would go so far as to say that that is probably at your detriment if you've got a degree in mass or physics would generally indicate you've probably got a decent level of intelligence especially at a degree level you're going to overthink stuff and try to overanalyze it and try to think well you know what this is this and this is that and then the other when in reality it's all about emotion it's all about who's on the side of the trade supply demand imbalance why is someone buying why is someone going to buy after you've bought why is someone going to sell after you've sold and just thinking of it like that so for every other person out there who isn't a mass or physics degree you've got a good chance of doing it as long as you're not over analyzing stuff and you're looking at it and for what it's meant to be which is just people leaving footprints of price on a screen all right guys thanks for listening thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff see you next one take care bye bye